the environment where you are coming from is not the same. But there is one sickness, killer disease sickness, called Lassa fever. So that Lassa fever is rampant in all those states. Let me tell you, in the whole Africa, Nigeria is the highest recorded Lassa fever epidemic. Then, when they now check the entire Nigeria, all those states have to rate number one. I believe that Lhasa wouldn't have, uh, have much damage in our country, Nigeria, and at our environment here in Obese Ondo State. It means information and the uh, disbelief of our people. They always attach many things to spiritual, and the spiritual people use it to consume them. And when it is beyond their power, it might be too late. Some even still die quietly. In fact, due to the temperature of Lhasa, somebody might look to be semi-mad. Because I already been said to people that I will call the Lhasa hell on earth. One of the faithful day, I have to visit one of the house of the members in which a granddaughter fell sick seriously. So I assisted. My temperature continued to increase. Due to the information that the lady is Lhasa positive, a team of uh, trackers, they, they, they follow up and they refer me to go to FMC. That's how I get to know that I am a patient of Lhasa. Our people always argue a lot that maybe it's a lie. If everybody says it's a lie, I am telling you now that it's not a, a lie. One of our sisters, she was already admitted at the FMC. But suddenly, uh, one of her friends called her that uh, it's a spiritual attack. The native doctor had uh, informed her that they should bring her down quickly, otherwise she's going to die. That means the woman to discharge herself. But at the end, the second day she got there, the thing become more tougher. So that makes her to call me again. And that makes me to assist her to get back to the Lhasa department. And today, thank be to God, she's alive. That's how I, people continue to have believe that there's Lhasa. Being a survivor, I try to make a lot of advocacy among children, in the marketplaces, in the churches, in the mosque, wherever I can get people to talk to, I talk to them. To make sure that I use myself as a physical example. Rati, they own a house? No. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Rati, Eku, where do they talk? Lassa Fika. Again? Lassa Fika. Out of the work of my advocacy, at least over half a million people I have talked to one on one. Some of them are trying to change their attitude. So which means it's yielding. And uh, I want to believe that it will still yield more. I'll be Baba Lassa. So I will continue to be Baba with the advocate against Lassa.